thermal fuses. It's time we had a talk about thermal fuses. Shut up. Just shut up. You had me at thermal. You had me at thermal. Be because it seems that thermal fuses are in absolutely everything and anywhere. And it's only recently that I've really noticed how many of our appliances we throw away prematurely due to fairly simple thermal fuse failures. Well, by failure, I mean the fuse is doing exactly what it's been designed to do. Act as a safety mechanism to prevent an appliance from overheating catastrophically. If a heating element's temperature exceeds a safe limit, the thermal fuse cuts power to the circuit, averting a potential fire hazard. Dryers, ovens, cooktops, fans, hair dryers, dishwashers, coffee makers, clothing irons, basically anything which contains some sort of heating element or has the capacity to generate heat has at least one thermal fuse. Occasionally called thermal cutoffs, they can sometimes be manually reset or be self-resetting as the temperature drops. Or the most common in smaller appliances, the blowing, dead, non-resettable thermal fuse. Sometimes thermal fuses pop up in the most unexpected places. Just last week, I was curious as to what had caused two bathroom ventilation fans to fail. So I took them back with me to the workshop and found they both contained thermal fuses which had caused these fairly simple, dependable motors to fail. These are not made to be opened up and repaired, but I did find two thermal fuses in each motor. One functional rated at 192 and the other at 145 degrees Celsius, which had blown. For the technical minded, the fuse models are on the screen. These range from $2 for a pack of five to $1.80 each. To put things into perspective, a new fan costs anywhere from $40 to $300. My first encounter with a thermal fuse was some years ago. That's uh, pretty standard right here. I was about to scrap a broken wall mounted heater when I thought, well, I discovered thermal fuses. Here's a tiny, tiny little guy right there. Shortly after my girlfriend's clothes dryer ceased to function and she wanted to get rid of it. Thermal fuse, something looking a lot like this. Years later, she still has the dryer and I still have her. So learn about thermal fuses and gain the admiration of men and the love of women. Or vice versa, or whichever combination works for you. It, it's all good. A few weeks ago, I had some maintenance to do on my dryer and I noticed it had three temperature sensitive components. Though all three are listed as being thermostats, only one is an honest to goodness temperature regulator. The other two are overpriced, non-resettable thermal fuses. I'll link to that video right there at the top of your screen. This is a great example of the auto resetting type. Anyway, thermal fuses are a necessity and should never be bypassed. They kill power before an appliance overheats and, and potentially bursts into flame. That's, that's not a good thing. But an awful lot of stuff seems to be overheating. Because thermal fuses are so tightly integrated within our appliances and they're not resettable or easily repairable, more often than not, when this inexpensive component blows, most people buy a whole new appliance. That's less money for you and more junk for the landfill. Learn what causes these failures, especially with thermal fuses, and reverse that course so you'll get more money for you, less junk for the landfill. Now, if you can only get manufacturers to go along with that plan. Thermal fuses are in everything.